Where's my little six inch rule? Oh, here it is. Right in my pocket where it's handy. So this is a six inch rule we had made especially for the woodsmith's door. It's the little brother of the 12 inch rule that I use all the time when I'm here in the shop at the store. So how do I use these rules? Well, when I'm at the router table, I use them to set the height of the bit to make a cut. And when I'm at the table saw, I use it to set the distance between the fence and the blade to make a rip cut. Well, in both of these instances, I need a very accurate measurement, way more accurate than I can get with a typical tape measure. So what makes these more precise? Well, the graduations on the rules are acid etched into the steel body of the rule. That means that they can be very fine, they're easy to read, and they will not scratch off. Also, we've added a satin finish to the body of the rule, so it's non-glare and a lot easier to read. So let's take a closer look at these graduations. On the face side of the rule, they're in 1 16th of an inch on both edges. Pretty easy to read. Now on the other side, they're in 1 32nd of an inch increments. Now that's in case you need a finer measurement or you can actually read 1 32nd of an inch. Now on the other edge of this side is a center finding rule. So that means zero is in the center and then it goes out to both ends, one, two, three, and the other end, one, two, three. So the way you use that is you turn the rule so that you get the same measurement on both sides and then zero marks the center. So in addition to the graduations, let's take a look at one other thing, and that is the inch markings. Now on most rules, on one edge it will go one, two, three, four from the end, and then on the other edge, at the other end, it goes one, two, three, four. Well, that makes a lot of sense. That's the way it should be. However, when you put the rule up against a fence and you measure on one edge, on this rule, you go one, two, three, four, say two and a half inches from the fence to the blade. Now I flip the rule over to measure on the other edge from the end of a board to a dado, and there it goes one, two, three, four, so I know exactly where two and a half inches is, rather than on a typical rule where I have to mark, measure down from 11, 10, 9, 8, and then I'm trying to think, is it eight and a half, is two and a half, or is nine and a half, two and a half? It gets very confusing, especially for me. So I like this left to right, right to left, on both edges of the rule. Well, I really do like all the features on these rules. The combination of the acid etch markings that mean they're very fine, but very easy to read, and they will not scratch off. And then the satin finish that makes it non-glare, and then the inch markings that means you can read it right to left and left to right. Well, it's a great set of rules for your shop, and here at the Woodsmith Store, we've combined both rules, the 6-inch rule and the 12-inch rule, into one set with a 25% savings. You can just click the button below to get your set for your shop exclusively from the Woodsmith Store.